Hi guys, I'm Krishan Jagota. Uh, I'm in the business of AHA, which is wonder. I seek wonder in my life and I share wonder in my life. Um, because I think what I can collect is what I can offer. So I design toys and games. I do magic as a hobby. I studied industrial design after my coding days and uh, lived in Germany for a while. And now since eight years, I'm leading a design studio. There are toys and games and product design. I sit at the intersection of storytelling and physical products and uh, I love stories like all of us and uh, I remember one story where this one man was uh, in a five-star hotel in the shower in his 50s and uh, uh, after a long tiring day he, he came and in that shower he took off his glasses and uh, was about to wash himself and couldn't see clearly and then there were these two beautiful designs of shampoo and conditioner right there but in that waterfall of the shower with his limited eyesight he didn't know which one is the shampoo and which is the conditioner so clearly it was not great design <clears throat> was it great art it is questionable uh, overall in the scheme of things when things look good people say Array, it's artistic is that art it's questionable still but clearly it's not great design if it's not for the consumer if it's not for the person who's going to use it right so there was a bottle that from an artistic point of view so called was great but from a design point of view was not good so clearly great design didn't live in that pseudo quote unquote art right from an artistic point of view since we started scratching on the walls purposelessly as humans we still had a little purpose. Maybe the purpose was to share that story of what we saw with the next generation or with the person next to us. So obviously even art has always had a purpose. I believe art comes stems from authenticity uh, of the personal emotion that someone goes through. And it is so very real. And design is slightly diluted in the personal experience. It's more from a lens of the other. Oh, uh, she's going to be using it tomorrow. What does she think about it? But great design has to be as authentic as great art. Otherwise, it doesn't really live on the way it has to. And uh, art is my offering to the world. But before that, my offering to myself. And design is my offering to the world. Even then, even if I'm invisible, it works. But art can truly never be disassociated with the artist. You can never pick up a painting and say the painting is beautiful, but the painter not so much. Because that is indeed the expression of the painter. But you could still pick up a great design and not like the designer. It's fine. You could still pick up a great minimal logo because that person got it right, made it for you, it works for you, but you don't like so that guy. So the question stays, uh, does art reside in design? No, I don't think so. Art doesn't reside in design. Art resides in our emotions. Art resides in our being. And art resides in a very uh, intrinsic personal journey that we all do. It resonates with others because we are so similar to each other. But it doesn't for sure reside in design. But does design reside in art? Yes, because uh, uh, design is about dreaming, design is about creating something too and it stems, should ideally stem from something uh, intrinsic, something that we feel about so that we can truly change the world one person at a time. So that's my simple answer that design does reside in art but art not necessarily in design. Thank you so much.